Grand Bazaar or Honey Dusk, or did everybody like the idea of just meeting up for a job and like we already had that job at the beginning? Yeah, like we could all went into the job solo and then while there we met up doing it, right? If it's like go to this dungeon and clear out goblins and we all just find each other wandering into the dungeon. Yeah, I like that. I, I don't That's see the problem with it. Yeah. Are we going to talk about afterwards or are we going to actually enact the, the goblin thing? Oh, it's up to Mouse. Does Mouse want to send us on a goblin quest? I guess maybe the better question would be, like, what's the standard adventure stuff that you'd get? Like, is it just what we'd think of, or...? Standard stuff, what do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? Well, it, it's an assumption that you need to go out and kill a goblin. Like, what if there aren't goblin infestations in this world, or if they're just normal people. Oh. Well, we just make it up something different, like Cobalt or something, right? We can just pick anything. I'm assuming there's something in this world that we have to kill eventually. Yeah, probably. But, like, what's the standard adventure thing at level 1 in this world? Is that genuinely go out kill goblins? Is that go out kill kobolds? Is that go out kill wolves? Wait till Mouse gets back and tell us. I mean, we can keep oh, going with the whole in... idea. Taking coffee or something. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Probably would have but, said something eventually, but yeah. No, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, what do you guys rather do? Do you rather meet up in the town and say we're going to go do this? Or do you say we, we were doing it now we met each other? Or we've met each other during this and we do a flashback where we're heading back to town? Or or, what if there's like a carnival or some kind of party event? I mean, if it's a carnival, my character would probably be apologizing a lot and just randomly mending all the items she broke. Uh, my character would probably be drinking. Apparently Minotaurs like to drink. Carnival sounds nice, yeah. I, I broke Bessie's <laughs> mug. <laughs> Her horns. Full of Ale, booze, these things. This world's very in a moonshine and tequila. He's pissed, so I fixed the glass. Yeah, there's probably been lots of like, like, um, hassling, then flirting to try to say you owe me something now, and then like, probably getting rejected or something, and like fighting more or pushing, and then drinking. Cool. Then probably just she may be a little bit serious until someone convinces her to calm down a bit. Maybe pass her a drink or something. Uh, when your character's walking around, you hear a little bit of commotion about someone drowning. <laughs> okay. Then we think of oh my gosh, we're, 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 that thing runs out. It's, fine. it's an actually an interesting thing because Clementine, the name, based off the song. Oh, the most oh, the popular thing about Clementine is a song about the girl drowning. <laughs> Fuck it. We'll make this a song reference. Uh, <laughs> there's a small crowd around people trying to drag up Millie out of a bucket of... Uh, do you know the apple tank? Dunk your head in, grab an oh, apple. Oh, yeah. yeah. Where your arms are behind your back, but Millie's just... <laughs> Millie's been in there for five minutes. Her head is completely underwater. People are trying to get her out, but she's fighting them to keep her head down. <laughs> she just Millie's bobbing for hours. <laughs> Really she's not dead. No, I know. Millie's just like, I lived it, lived in water. I'm gonna die by the water. Leave me alone. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, so mechanically, I feel like I have to pop something up, but she she can breathe underwater, and she's bobbing for apples, and she doesn't understand. That, like, <laughs> I, I kind of people... think I kind of figured your character would be able to breathe underwater. I'm just saying as a joke. Characters pretending to be suicidal and nobody knows. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, uh, what, Josh, what would your character do when they saw a person trying to fight to keep their head under the water? Um, so do you seem like you're in trouble, like struggling? Well, there's like 
two or three people trying to rip her out of the tank because she's like shoving her head down. Um. So Clem would probably walk over to the, the 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 barrel and knock on it a few times and kind of just speak into it, even though she doesn't know if she can like hear. Her. Uh, you don't have to go out this way. Uh, I think I can hear you too. Mm-hmm. But uh, the per yeah, Millie just turns, looks at you, and is like still struggling and is like, what? If if you wanted and to, and then goes back to trying to bite an apple. Come 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 back here. Yeah, Does no one understand what's going? I mean, like they're, they're playing the bombing for apples. So, I mean, when you're like, oh, she's bombing for apples. I don't understand. I mean, yeah, she doesn't so realize. The idea is, if, if you come, if you come up with an way apple, too long. Uh, if you come up with an apple, she won't realize. But she's like, is she trying to drown herself? What's going on? No, she's she's biting at a <laughs> bunch of apples, uh-huh. but she just keeps on missing. Like, it's actually kind of sad. One big tooth isn't working. Clint's <laughs> <laughs> so, gonna uh, kind of shove everybody else aside and hold you by your legs and let you go deeper. <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> with your help, Millie grabs an apple and then tries to like bend her knees a little bit, trying to get back out. Yeah, she'll pull you out. She stands up with an apple and tries to give you a high five. Oh, you did it. Good good job. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> no, no problem. Right. I thought the worst was happening, but um Seems it all is just a bunch of fun. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, thanks for getting everybody to stop tugging on me. That was kind of rude. It's not good to cheat, guys. Yeah. I, maybe they wanted their own apples, but you'll have to dig yourself, guys. Um, have at it. We're done here. Tisk tisk tisk. Yeah. Oh, what's uh, that? Uh, oh, you, you're excitable. She okay? She's already running. She's already running. <laughs> yes, you're jogging after you just to see what you were excited about. <laughs> uh, it's a hayride. Cool. She is it has multiple vibrating teacher apples. on a hay bale. <laughs> <laughs> just, just a single bite mark. <laughs> One scratch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, along the way, you actually found the apple just discarded. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> Don't need this anymore. Something more interesting. <laughs> uh-huh. Just bouncing. Ready for a hayride. Carriage pulls up. Gets on. And goes like two miles an hour. <laughs> and she gets bored and walks off halfway through. She gets off oh. halfway through? Like- yeah, like... Uh, Ma- ma'am, she just ma'am. got off the carriage. Well, geez, I think I need a leash for this one. Um, she's gonna hurt herself. She starts looking for help, like someone else that may know you or looks similar to you. But I'm guessing there's no one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> like, are you alone? This is where... uh, what? Uh, yeah, yeah, this is this is probably to the point where uh, if you get, if you were chasing uh, Millie, would Millie have like ran through a bar or anything? I mean, Millie's probably running outside. all over the place. We're probably yeah, outside drinking. drinking. We're yeah. probably not in a bar. We're probably like outside drinking, right? Because carnivals and festivals you usually have like outside tables. Okay, and then yeah, if it's outside, then yeah, this would probably be the point where Millie would bump into Karen, and Karen would bump into Bessie, and knock and like knocking uh, her drink out and spilling it and breaking the glass. Yeah, and Bessie is like in the middle of an argument with a dwarf that she just beat in like a drinking contest because. You know, dwarves like are very like proud of like they can out drink people, but minotaurs apparently drink a whole lot too. And he's and like the, a fight's getting ready to start. It seems like because the 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 dwarf is assuming that I won because I'm a cow and I have multiple stomachs. And he's like keeps calling me a cow and I keep calling him I'm a minotaur and I keep pushing him and he keeps pushing me. Then like. Uh, like someone gets pushed, so then Millie gets like I guess like jumps out the way a little bit, then bumps into Karen, and then Karen, yeah, yeah, the whole thing. Yeah, and Karen would feel bad and would start fixing the glass and apologizing, <laughs> like re- repeatedly to the point where probably would get on Bessie's nerve. 
I don't know, she's probably like, oh, well, I mean, if you want to apologize and stuff, I mean, you come back up to my room and whatnot, and we can have a little fun. Yeah, she she decline. <laughs> it's fine, be that way. Rude and annoying. I guess I see the the, the other person. It's like, oh, we're, we're I guess I'm looking at the. What, what, what are you like the mole person? I guess, and I'm just like, what are you like a princess or something? No, why would you think that? Crown on. Yeah, I found it. Oh. Found a crown. Okay, sure. Well, yeah, you find all sort of stuff diving. Oh, like treasure. Okay, yeah, yeah. So you're like an, uh, like an adventurer or something? I, I don't know. It's a lot of... She starts, like, trailing her head a little bit. Like, there's a lot of stuff out there. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, that color. Uh, she starts walking off towards a clothes stand. <laughs> You, you stopped her? Hey, hey, is she with you? Uh, no. I was asking if she was an adventure and she wandered off. She looked kind of... She trailed off this and then wandered off. I don't know. The fourth time know. wandering. Like we had to... I think she's going to hurt herself. Oh, okay. Um, did... What did you do to make her stop? Maybe we can try it again? Talk to her? Yeah, I, I had her for a moment, too. Um, I didn't even get her name. Now? Hey! Start driving after again. Millie didn't hear her name, so she's not doing anything. And yeah. hasn't introduced herself, so it's not your fault. But yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, she didn't wander like, off far, yeah. Yeah, and then I guess, I guess my character's like, so what about you? Are you, like, you with her? I don't get what's going on. You're just, like, following her? Yeah, um, she seems not lost, but, um, vulnerable. I don't want to see anyone like take advantage of her. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I was like, you just like leading my character. My character's oh, like, oh shit. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I was even thinking the same thing. Like, oh, you're naive and gullible. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so I guess it's like, oh yeah. What do you want to take advantage of? But we should, we should help her. Right. Glad to have that. Someone to help along. Um, you need yeah. that one hand to block the other. Um, you guys would probably see uh, Karen just asking random people, Hey, what does this flyer say? I can't read. <laughs> oh, somebody help me. Oh my gosh, there's so, so many helpless women out here. Yeah, um, you come with us. You you seem vulnerable too, and you owe me for a drink. So, yeah, I'm grab you by your shirt or something and pull you up, whatever you're doing. <laughs> Rude. Mm -hmm. Come on. Like wander off Fix again. your glass! That's rude, you don't pull me by the chest. Like the color, but yeah. You, I mean, you, you still lost- I still lost a drink in the glass. I don't care about uh, my glass. My drink. Fire. <laughs> what about fire? Fire. I'm being touched. I don't know this random lady. Are, are you saying you're attacking them? Oh, I don't know. I'm just saying, I, uh, like, my character's confused. I don't know this lady. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what, what are we doing again? Where are we going? We're Sorry. trying to see about the, the fake princess lady over there. She's, Wait, she's so, like, princess lady. Yeah, she's so, like, I don't know, distracted by everything. Oh, I thought you were referring to me, because I have no clue what's going on. Oh, are you a fake princess, too? Uh, no, I'm a noble. I think I, I'm a noble still. I don't know. I mean, you don't know you're a noble? I, I, I don't know what's going on. I was confused. Hey, can you read this? You got it? Like, no, I can't read that. Oh. Can you not read that? Oh? Shitty noble. Dude. Um, do you want me to read it for you? You can read! Wait. Then, then why'd you ask us to read it? He asks if you can read. Oh, I, yeah, I can read. <gasps> hey! So whatever this is, like, if if Mouse actually gives us a quest, <laughs> that's what this paper is about. <laughs> it does look interesting. 
Lost book. Five copper if returned. <laughs> Real. Turn to the library. <laughs> I'm gonna check my surroundings just to make sure I merely stay within the, uh, I guess, sight. <laughs> Millie started walking towards you guys a few seconds ago and it's like, "Hey, is uh, how how drunk do you have to be to get someone to start carrying you?" Um, so, drunk, but I mean, I'll carry you. And she goes to pick you up. Millie goes with it. You now are carrying two women. <laughs> two women. Uh, yeah, you're carrying Karen, right? Oh, I just, I just like picked, I just like turned her and like grabbed her by the collar, like you're coming with us type deal, because you. Oh, <laughs> so you're dragging Karen and. No, but I just, I just kind of like pulled her. I didn't like pick her. Like I picked her up, like almost like like stand up, we're leaving or something like that. Yeah, I, I pick her up. Yeah, I pick you up. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you're pretty tall. Yeah. I'm good with my hands oh. too. And you're like, her hand is somewhere probably inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> We're very close to it. Uh, she's not reacting, and oh, your horns! Yeah, you have, I have horns. horns. Yeah, I'm a minotaur. Wait, you have horns too? Do I have horns? No. Uh, no, I don't um, have horns. How old are you? <laughs> I'm. I'm twenty. Oh. Uh, okay. I'm trying to figure out if it's like normal out here to have horns? Is, is that, like, a lot of things that people have, or...? Oh, well, we're just different races. What do you... what? Some races have horns. Oh. Huh. Well, I'm bored. <laughs> Tries to get off. Let her go. Uh, what? Um... Are you alone in this area? Uh, yeah, why? Uh, are you safe? Probably? Or... Are you trying to, like, get me to hire you as a bodyguard or something? Because no, 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 I, I no, do no, not no. have much money. I just, I just, I'm worried because um, those guys were holding you and stuff, and yeah, it's not really, like, safe for a woman to be winding around without any kind of restraint of... Yeah, yeah. My character, Where you My yes, character you puts an arm around you and was like, yeah, yeah, you should stick with me. I'll, I'll keep you safe. Smile. You're trying to put me in restraints? No, 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 no. It's like mental, mm. mental restraint. Um, being if able you... to like not be, I guess, everywhere all at once. I mean, if you're into kinky stuff, I mean, I can put you in some restraints if you want. Oh. Yeah. No, I've never tried that. What are restraints? Ooh. Uh, like rope. Like Ask whatever. whatever you... Back where I'm from, the, my people, uh, we have to restrain a lot of people. Rope. Can you show me what rope was again? Are you. S oh my. This is impressive how, how dumb some of you are. Oh, I'm sorry I said that loud. Um, yeah, I'm like looking like. What yeah. I'm special? Is that what the mistress told me? You work for someone and don't know what rope is? Like, you have rope? Is, rope is essential in everyday life. Like, how could you rig an anchor without rope? Fly? What's an anchor? It's. It's a heavy piece of metal. You're, you're so actually you... playing, like, are you playing this up, Ragnar? Because your character is not actually, you only have like a negative one in those things. Right? <laughs> yes, I'm playing this up. <laughs> okay. okay. I, you can't be that, that tense. This, this is, um, at a level that a kid actually was hitting you. Just remember flying this way and landing. That's all. So you're not from the mainland? Just point up, uh... Oh. All I know is above us. Well... I think I can make... Oh, well, I'm kind of, I, I, I can't go back, I kind of... Left, and I don't know if I'd ever be allowed back for something. Is 
everyone up there as dumb and attractive as you, or...? I mean, the lady... The lady was pretty nice and smart. She taught me magic. She said I had to learn the hard way. And read books. I mean, you think the hard way would be almost dying to get it. That's what I had to do. I mean... I'm only... 24... And... About... I don't know... From 7 till now? I constantly had to practice one spell at a time? Till I died? Wait, Get? you died? No, no. Like... Where your body just takes over and shuts... Like... You fall asleep after a certain pop. Okay, to not die. I don't. That. Pass out. That's the word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, this is. I've been in the same place for five minutes. You guys are all right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What are your guys' but... names? Oh, I'm Millie. What's yours? Oh. Mistress named me Karen. Sorry. I'm Bessie. Hey. Hi, I'm Clementine. You call me Clem. It's many syllables. I think I was supposed to give back this ring, but I'm going to keep it. If it belongs to Nolo, it most likely should go back to them. Otherwise, you may be hunted for it. Karen, Bessie, Clem. Karen, Bessie, Clem. Karen, Bessie, Clem. Carrie, Bessie, Carrie, Carrie, Bessie, Bessie, Would you yeah. want to write it down? Bessie pats you on the head. Millie just sort of closed her eyes a little bit and was like, mm. yes. <laughs> so... So, Carrie, how do you, like, function? Who's Carrie? Uh, uh, Carolia, Carolina, Karen, Karen, Karen. Uh, how do you function? Uh, do you have money? I mean, I I'm not asking to help you function. I'm, I'm, I'm just curious. Oh. It, it seems like you're struggling. Well, this isn't gonna be fun. Well, the other men just usually buy me things. Oh, do you do it with pity? Yeah, Wait, I guess that's a way you can pity. Yeah. Oh, this uh, sucks. Someone, I thought because uh, the mystery the mistress took me in, even though I did cleaning and everything, I thought it was nobility. Is that not how it works? Yeah, so she's a whore. Oh, oh my. The whore. Um, why are you offended if you don't know what it is? I'm not offended. That's a new word for me. Uh, whore. Basically, you just sleep around, interact with men, and they pay and buy things for you. I don't know what that means. It said guys usually buy you things. Oh, yeah, and then after they buy me things, they just walk away. Mm. I mean, that's how I got this diamond. Let us show the ring, and you guys see a diamond in it? A cheap diamond. <laughs> well, is it cheap because it's actually glass, or...? It's a 50 diamond. Like, okay, well, maybe you're not such a whore. Maybe you just kind of flirt with guys or accidentally flirt with guys and they give you stuff. I don't know. I mean, the mistress said I had to, she had to keep an eye on me when I was talking to random strangers in the house. I was ooh, flirty, it seemed yes. like. Yeah. There you go. Uh. <clears throat> <laughs> that answers a lot of questions. Yeah. No, it does. I am special. 
So, Clementine, why do you care so much? As they're talking, some random human comes walking up behind us, and Bessie turns around, grabs his, his, his mug, and pushes him, and starts drinking it. Jeez. But that belonged to that man. Why would you? Oh no, it's trousers. They, they got mud on them. <laughs> belongs to me now. I, I guess. Oh yeah, I should go get a drink. Really? Well, so as you like, as you like, like berate this this man. <laughs> He goes to like try and take some mud back. He's like, "What the fucking fuck?" And then like he sees you, but turns back as you're drinking the mug. You just like turn, and he's like, "Okay." Yeah, basically, like if I'm a bit or mad dog him a little bit, and he's like, "Oh, that's a big woman." Nope. Sure yeah. Now. He's like, "Wow, I can't." <laughs> my my grandson made that mug for me. She drinks it. She throws it back at him. Like, here you go. It's like, thanks for not murdering me, question mark? Welcome. It just, it just goes back to get more drink. He's like, motherfucker. Oh, like, that's the correct response. <laughs> Finally, I'm being recognized for my merits. Uh, but, yeah, uh, Millie walked off, talking to some guy at the bar, gets a drink, downs it, gets another drink, and leaves. Guy's kind of upset. Not really, though. Maybe? I don't know. Oh, so you guys went to the tavern. I didn't hear that part. Uh, I'm I somewhere. thought it was, like, an open-air festival sort of thing, and there's, like, a drink stand or something. Like, you know where they keep the funnel cakes at town fairs? Like, there's also booze there. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I didn't hear we all started. <laughs> Since we broke oh, out of the conversation, Bowen, are you good? Did you start anything? I'm on uh, wonderful D and D Beyond, trying to add everything and get it all here situated. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. My character is not supposed to be the smartest. It'll be hard for me to lead this, so. Seems like it's up to you, Josh, <laughs> since you seem like the smartest one here. Yeah. So, at the moment, we're working with a letter that we have, or. What's, what's the deal? Are we right. waiting on until. Uh, so, Zach Lowe shows you the. Hmm? I mean, that's ultimately up to you guys, because I have stuff. Yeah, but I think we're waiting to push on with stuff until we are, we're all done and ready to go. No. We're just, we're just trying to like, think of a way to meet each other, right? Like, because me and Ragnar's character aren't the smartest, so we're kind of being dumb here, and we can't really, like, like suggest too, too much, and technically Fred's character is the opposite. Like, he's pushing against everything by running away and stuff, so... We have to figure out a way to glue us together, I guess. So, as Ragnar showed Josh's character the paper, Ragnar, you notice that it has like a house thing on it, like a picture, but you can't read the words. Josh's character, however, it, as he can read, it's a church, and it says help once at, at local church near Honey Dusk. Yeah, so I relate to the group. Um, would you ladies mind um, taking a trip with me? I, um, our friend here has handed me a paper that is a job request. Uh, to look for a church? Yes. Um, help needed at a local church. Hmm. Well, Perhaps it pays. I am a great adventurer, so I guess I can do that. What's that Wait. saying about churches? Something about needing buckets of sweat? What's a church? I think I can help with that. I thought that, that picture is in the house. It's a 
a place it, where you um like human it, it translates to dolphin house doesn't it if they're gods or something i don't know wait it's more than just the dolphin god yeah oh okay where I'm from, we don't really have churches, so when I didn't know what it was, people told me you worship gods there. Then, where does the community meet, if not at a church? Mm -hmm. Probably church. Probably where, well, we need to meet somewhere. You... Did you not live with people? Yeah, but why do you need to meet somewhere? You, you're, if you're with the people, you just see them. When you meet somewhere to do something, right? Like, why, why are you meeting? Well, to, to teach the kids about what it means to be one of us. Like, I don't know about teaching any kids anything. Huh. Well, maybe I, I guess I never really thought about it. But yeah, a, a church sounds fun. Uh, I've never heard of one for... Well, it'd be nice to see what other churches look like. So, can we go? Yeah. <laughs> well, um... So it's, it's in... 22, so it should be... She pulls out her honey desk. Uh, it should be over this. Are we far from the honey desk, or we are decent? We in the Grand Exchange, or are we in honey desk? I thought we were like somewhere. Where did, where did Mouse? Where do you think we are? Gave us a quest to go to honey desk. Where do you? Y'all can start like, like, immediately in honey desk, or y'all can meet up the grand exchange, which is more likely. Okay, so there's whatever, whatever makes the most sense, I guess. I mean, we can always walk all the way over there. I guess it would make make it easier for us if we were in honey desk to actually like hang out there. If there's like a a fair there or something for some reason. I <laughs> like the idea of starting at honey desk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I guess it makes more sense. So here is Honey Desk. Doesn't really make any sense. For Where's my map? Oh, there it is. Let's go and adventure together all the way over there. <laughs> People might be like, ah, the really map is complete. Yeah. I think it's all people I met five minutes ago. Let's go off and do nothing for five hours straight. Oh, you guys' energy seems a little everywhere, so let's spend it doing something constructive, I guess. Or productive, at least. Like what? Um, filling this job request. Whatever they may be asking. Um, it just says help wanted. As long as they're yeah. paying us, I Let's guess. Go. Oh, Did that's the map disappear at everybody? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I still see it. What do you mean the map disappear? It's, it's gone. I'm, I'm on a gray yeah. screen. <laughs> well, probably because I like DM or something like that. Yeah, it, the map was destroyed. It wasn't working. You join us a player. So, let's see. I'm finding a new map, but you're at a town. The town battle map, basically. There is a town. There are docks and there's waters. Okay. Is it Ooh, town is water. docks and waters? Wait, uh, ha have you guys ever fished before? What what's the biggest fish you've caught? I've actually not. Fish. Fishing? Wait, that those things that cost like three copper pieces that you can get from a market? Those things? Yeah. I can sell you a fish for three copper? Bessie's like, wait, okay. wait you, can you fish? Uh, yeah. You good at it? Well, yeah, I've been doing it for years. It was my town's specialty. Okay, well, you're my new best friend. You catch me some fish. <laughs> okay. I didn't know. Billy is going towards the water line. Yeah, she's following you. <laughs> she's fiddling with her bag and she's pulling out a fishing net. 
As long as you don't fish the same way you buy for apples. No, just because you said that, Billy starts running. Like, stop her. <laughs> she chases after her. What's wrong with... How did she bomb for apples? Um, uh, nearly done. diving! <laughs> map is real blurry. Yeah, I don't know what, what's happening. Hold on. I guess I have to find a new map. Again. I mean, honestly, if you just want to, like, drop boxes, that would work, too. This idea is there's a, a town with water in docks. Yes. Um, I can send you a picture for um, uh, my Rick, my one game. It's got a decent size thing, and it's in. It's not blurry. Do it. I'll just send it to you. It's not. The picture itself isn't blurry, but when I put it booted to like roll twenty, it blurs. You know, it's. I'm just gonna do this. It's not cooperating. Quick question here. Yes. I think. I think I got everything ready in stupid D and D Beyond, but if I manually add everything over, it's gonna take me a really long time. You can I mean, work on that while we play. That later? You can work on it while we play, though. I mean, yeah. while we talk and stuff, you can work on it. Okay. Y yeah, you can. I mean, yeah, you, you can work on it today, and then pretty much the important day is next Monday, so you have all week to do what you need to do. Yeah, but just make sure you have your stats in, just in case you need to, like, roll something for some strange reason. I would say at least have your stealth roll in since you're a rogue. Got it. Yeah. So, what's wrong with her? The way she bombs for apples? She doesn't come back up. I mean, does she die? I mean... She's obviously alive. Maybe if we, we help her, maybe so. Like a fish person? Can you breathe water? She started running a while ago. <laughs> Find your way to fun. So yeah, as long as no uh, bucks and rogues or whatever come up and trip uh, Millie as she's running, she like runs past the docks and like dives head first into the water with the net outstretched and tries to see if she can catch something. I'm also saying I'm gonna do this manually. <laughs> I'm glad I got it. I'm the master of the bullshit. I'm uploading right now. <laughs> we get chaotic real fast. There's a dock. I did it. Yeah. Hey, hey docks and water. <laughs> You're like, there's a town with docks and water. I'm like, there, there's your whole town. Yeah. No, it doesn't yeah, look as bad as I thought it would be. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Get rid of my uh, how easy is it to catch, to catch uh, fish in this area? Enough, there's no like fishing tool. Like, that, like, out of all the tools they could have, like a fishing tool seems like, like the best one. Yeah, I, I was thinking that, but uh, try to survive, I mean, right? So, I know that uh, I'll, I'll look at the backstory again. Uh, I don't know if I did my uh proficiencies right, but I know that I have a fishing net because of the background. What does the net give Oh, him? wait, no, there's also the, uh, there's a background feature. I'll probably let you get fish and stuff, like the other one is. Yeah, that makes Harvest sense. in the deep. Gain advantage in the ability checks to make it using fishing tackle. <laughs> yeah, I was going with just a net this time, because that's one of the things that background comes with. 
But now that I think about it, the net probably means like one of those sticks in the net on the end. Yeah, it's like the uh, Outlander one where you just go hunting for stuff, but you just get it from water. Yeah. Yeah, so she's not actually like doing that well. She's just like swinging a bug net around in the mud trying to catch an eel or something. But eventually she finds an eel. It was just really hard. Comes back up like five minutes later. Yeah. Does she see every anybody on the docks, or did? Uh... he's waiting for you because like she, okay. she wants a fish. Yeah, she comes back out with an eel. Nice. Uh, water can you help me up? It's kind of a far. Yeah, give me a sec. She finds a stick and reaches out to you. <laughs> no, 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 like instead of a stick, it'd be like somebody's fishing pole. Sure. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, you want to try getting it some like fish, not like a water snake. It's good eats. Oh no. Do you need to prepare it in any kind of way? Well, yeah. Um, should we make a campfire or something? I don't know. Uh, aren't there usually buildings that have fires? Like, uh, where's the thing at? Like, Bessie's like. So you say this thing's good? Does it taste like fish? Well, it tastes like eel. I've never... What's a snake, though? Um, Wait, is that the thing that, like... She makes a... a tw well, how to describe the motion? I mean, she's uh, like, she's... She's like, it's like this thing, but it lives on gr like the ground instead of the water. Oh, I, I've never seen one on the ground, but is it... One of those things that, like, swims by going left and right a lot? I guess like it looks like this. Yeah. Uh, okay. These are these are slightly different, but this thing. Yeah. No. Like this fish? this is a lot more slimy. Okay. So does this taste like a fish? Okay. So out of character, I don't know what an eel tastes like. Again. I I don't know what eel tastes like. I I don't know how to answer you here, Spike. <laughs> <laughs> Time to Google it. Okay, yeah. An eel tastes like an eel. Thanks, Google. Thanks, God of all information. Yeah, uh, I, I'm guessing that it would taste like seafood a little bit, but it's different because it's eel. Uh, types of food. It's supposed to be sustainable, I think. Like whitefish, I guess? A bit like bass. Okay, yeah. So, I guess it would be fishy. So, it, it tastes like fish. Oh. Like, like, yeah, so Bessie just picks it up and bites it. it bites its head off. Starts chewing on it. It freaks out. <laughs> it's, its head got bit off. So Can I you hold on to it? it? Yeah, I mean, she's just eating, like, live stuff. Right? She's, used to, she's used to eating humans alive. <laughs> you know, usually we come I mean, okay. I'm just saying, it, it's an eel. I mean, it it's a slimy it? eel, and you just bite it, and it just starts freaking out, like flipping everywhere. I mean, it's getting bit, so I mean, <laughs> I, oh, I assume it's... it only has like a second to try to flip out while I'm biting its head off. I mean, is an eel like a chicken? The way, I just bit its head off. I assume. No. Try to grapple it if you want. Other than that, I don't know. So, uh, like, y'all are arguing about the logistics of what an eel tastes like, and people are like, like, you're staying, if y'all are at the docks because of fishing. Yeah, like, they get people on, are, like, on the ground, like, flipping around, like, oh, you get a stick, right? What like, are they talking about? Yeah. Make like, what are you doing? And then as you bite an eel and then kill it, people are like, like, no longer looking at you to be like, what the fuck? Get out of my way, right? They're like, okay, I need to be out the way. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Guess I'm chewing. I'm like, yeah, it tastes pretty good. It tastes kind of like fish. How are you dealing with a slime? Like, it's got a lot of mucus there. It's like, mm, tastes okay to me. Like gravy. It's gravy. That's gotta be disgusting. 
You know what? It's better than a picky eater. Oh, I'm, yeah. so, I'm sorry. I didn't want to offend. Oh, he's like, this is my favorite food. Second favorite food, other than like, you know, humans. You. Oh, do they taste good? Is that uh, like a cow or? Yeah, yeah. She's like, she's like, yeah, yeah. They taste good. Yep, they taste real good. I get insight check on that if you want. <laughs> sure. Sure. Yeah, so you can tell, like, she's not lying to you, like, she's lying to herself, I guess. Uh -huh. like, she's like, how she's like, oh, yeah, fish is my favorite food. Oh, wait, no, it's my second favorite food. She, like, like, she, like, fish is technically her favorite food, but she's back at home like everyone ate human flesh as if like that's what they ate and she's like oh yeah i like human flesh too it's it's the best yeah so she's kind of like trying to play it up i guess but she's like yeah pretty good um oh. it's okay if you don't like it you don't have to eat something that you don't care for you know oh, don't it's, it's good i like it you know fish is good too you know i always eat human flesh so much that you know it's always it's, it's, it's something different, right? So, you know, fish is good. Eat the rest of it, like, on the loaf. Oh, it's like yeah. purple helmets. Yeah, I get it. You, you just see Karen trying to grab fish from the, from the top of the surface of the water. <laughs> Millie hands you her net. Like, do you know uh, bug catching nets? Or, I said that already. But yeah, she hands Karen so the net. Try better. Are y'all are y'all on the left to the docks or are y'all on the right to that small dock? Uh so did we come in on the bottom right of the map? So like I guess it'd be like, oh yeah, water. Yeah. And then it was yeah. like this. Probably. Okay. Or I guess it might be well, something like well, this. If y'all started What I'd say if y'all are from the Grand Exchange, which y'all decided y'all started in Honey Dusk, right? Yeah, like a festival just outside of town. Sure. So y'all would start near in the middle, and y'all can go either way. All these people are. Oh, okay. Uh, do you want it to be like this then? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Does, does it matter? We're at the we're at the water at, at some dock. You you pick, Miles. It doesn't matter. We're on the dock. If you want something to happen, it happens. Yeah. We're on the dock, and it could be any dock. So whatever one makes the most sense. For the same. Like if y'all are on this side, then y'all just fish. But what I was thinking, if y'all are going to here, then you have people yelling at you because you're at like a commercial dock. I'm fine with getting yelled at. That might be interesting. You and just want to go with I'm that. I'm fine pushing some humans for yelling at me. This is where the party bonds together, and we just killed a bunch of citizens. <laughs> killed a bunch of fishermen trying to do their honest work. Basically, you're almost stealing from them. You're like, they're doing like protocols, and they got their, their nets casted, and there's specific spots. Just some, some asshole just starts jumping in and eating fish. <laughs> this place is weird. Okay, so, like, how many people are raising a stink about this, even though the Minotaur is, like, scaring the shit out of them? Probably, like, two or three. What, is, what exactly is happening? Are they just, like, walking around me? The like, Minotaur's in water. What? <laughs> yeah, uh, you're like, you, you're not the problem. The problem is the person in the water. <laughs> oh, the, Millie got water? pulled out of the water after she caught the eel. Yeah. yeah. Like on the dock and like the yeah, but then someone right. else, Ragnar, just started jumping in the water too. <laughs> so no, now, no, no, no. It's like we can I'm in the water. I'm on the dock using my hands and just swiping at the water when fish come. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'm still he's stealing fish. Trying to catch fish. <laughs> Do you think he's disturbing the water if there are fishermen around? So yeah, I'm like I'm highly disturbing the water at that point because I'm yeah, using the bear. Like, hey, man. <laughs> Yeah. You need to stop, get up, 
then and not do that. Can you say no you? Uh, do I know you? No. Go away. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey, well... I look over to Bessie. Bessie, is this... Am I flirting? Because I need to know. I'm giving it off the wrong vibes. I, I, I need to know. This is like, eel. It's like, I don't know. What are you doing? You also paying attention to you? You flirting with him? I don't, I don't know. Are you trying to buy me things, sir? You start, like, having a conversation with the Minotaur, and the dude's looking back and forth at the Minotaur eating the eel, and then you, stealing his fish, he's like, the fu- what are you talking- you need to leave! Leave this place! I have, like, a shit coming in, like, three minutes, I- you need to not do this. Is it- is it bad to fish? It's bad- it's bad to fish here. I think it's more of the method. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Bess is like, whoa, 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 there's a better place to fish. Yeah. Like, there's like a local the ocean. spot? Everywhere else. So Bessie walks over. I away. guess he eventually like starts talking about this side. Oh, okay. Or like here. Or anywhere else. Yeah, yeah so Bessie's like, so is there, is there less like water snakes and more fish fish over there? See, I told you didn't like it. So he's, like, this is, like, his area, because he's, like, a small independent fisher, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The idea is he's Bessie's, like, Bessie's not get, taking it as he's yelling at us to leave because the ship's coming. He's taking it as he's trying to help us and get better fish. What is it the best thing? Like, so she's just, like, ask him, so where's the better fishing place? He catches on to what you're saying, and it's pretty much just, like, yeah, over here. Okay. Like, five feet into the other dock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Bessie starts walking around, like, this, this, like... Like pushes, kind of like gestures Millie to go to the other dock because there's better fish over there. Same shit happens. Some dude's like, uh, "Excuse me." I, I look at the guy. I'm like, hey, are, we are, were told are, this is the best fishing spot." By yeah. who? Going to the other dock. That goddamn motherfucker dude picks up a bottle, throws at the other dude. And he's like, "Hey, what the?" And so they just start yelling at each other. <laughs> I straight up just look at the guy. When Bessie walks away, are you lying to us, mister? He's like, uh, what? Are you not li are you lying to us? The mistress lying always about... said, the mistress said people mm -hmm. lie sometimes to pretty women to get what they want. Are you getting what you want? Oh, no, for that for them to get what they want. I haven't received anything. Normally, guys like you buy me things, and then I just walk away. It's hot. I'm trying to catch fish for my family so we don't die or lose the house. <gasps> you have All a right. family? So what I is have like? no... It's like a fan... <laughs> I... He's just like staring. He basically does the Tony Stark thing to where he looks... What is it? The fucking... What, what's his movie? Uh, yeah, yeah. Guardians. Oh, God, he he just like, looks at him. Tropic and he's no, 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 no. Baffled. It's, it's, no, it's, it's, he's it's, it's when the Guardians of the Galaxy start arguing with each other, and he's just like, he's like, yeah. He stares at them for a second, and then just looks down, like, my God, they're retarded. Yeah, basically. <laughs> so, 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 yeah. So Bessie's over there talking to the new guy. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa is it, isn't the best place to fish? Where's the best place to fish? Is like a, I, don't, I don't anywhere else but here. This is the other guy said. So someone's lying. Is there not a better fishing spot? Where is the best fishing spot? He just stares into the ocean. He's like, I anywhere else but here. I mm. want me to say. He, he, he looks at the ocean. It's like, oh, so the ocean. So on the beach over there. I got you. Go to the beach, guys. Uh, hold on. <laughs> Something just tugged. Just two seconds. Two seconds. On what? Actually, that doesn't matter. If something tugs, people are like, "Hey, hey, hey! That's mine!" 
Millie's just like hip checking Whoever, whoever him yells that, whoever yells that, Bush, like Bessie pushes him. He's like, no, 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 that's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'm not spoken position. for, and Billy keeps on reeling it. Not you. You don't roll strength. I want to. I want to see something. Uh, Bessie or Millie? Millie. Okay. Whoever is the Minotaur. Oh, I'm. I'm. Yeah. Bessie. Yeah. Bessie. Yeah. I don't strength. Oh, or athletics? is this manslaughter? Doing strength or athletics? What am I doing? Water. No, just. Just what? What next word? It's not me, it's Slaughter. Jackson, will you give me a roll of strength or athletics? You want to hear me? I can hear yeah. you, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. You stop the mouse? Yeah. Yeah. He's asking Bessie to roll. I am Bessie the Minotaur. What am I rolling? <laughs> Rural athletics is a skill. Mm. Uh, uh, I'll I'll back. He like kind of you push him and he like uh, stumble and then, like he trips on his leg and he hits the dock and As he hits the dock, he's near the edge, and he almost slips into the water, but he's like, hanging on. Okay. And what you call causing ruckus. People are like, hey, fucking, we're trying to fucking work here. We're trying to catch fish. So are we. We're fishers. That's what we do. He looks at Millie. Are you a fisher? We are fishers. Fish, 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 fish. Left, 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 left. Yeah. yeah, I have no idea what kind of fish this is. Looks fat. Looks fat. It's like a eight incher, I want to say. Like not insanely big, but like it's a decent meal. We're cooking this one. Let's go find. Oh wait, do you think the church has a stove? Let's go there. Yeah, we gotta go to the church for something. I mean, y'all don't want any fish, though? Okay. Yeah, let's cook it at the church. Okay, sure. I'll cook my fish at the church, yeah. whatever. Looks over to Clementine. Hey, wait, so as... I can make it down for like one more second, right before walking away. I see another fish up top. I try swiping at the water to catch it with my bare hands. Oh, and you said you're done with your character? You want to talk about it? Yeah, can we move on? That's a good, good point to do it. I think I'm done. I don't really have like a big, big story for you guys. I just kind of put all the basic stuff in there. Hopefully it's enough. Oh, we can do that now. Perfect time to do that. This session. Like you make some to, stuff up. You want to make stuff. some stuff up next time? Or just kind of give like it's, a quick yeah, little kinda... bio? Quick little thing you have in mind, so when we meet you, we can you have stuff. So we're not you're not like I'm a faceless blob, right? It's like okay. So uh, sorry to ruin your guys' whole theme of the the anime waifus, but uh, <laughs> you're good. We did this because I... uh, we were picking up mouse, so you're good. <laughs> I guess I'll be the oddball here. Um, I'm gonna play a what elf rogue, and his name's gonna be Zine. Um, I don't know where he's going to be from specifically. I guess I'll work those details out later, but the thing I was having in mind is uh, he has kind of like a criminal background, he, like shady upbringing. Uh, I thought it would be funny. I know you guys said you wanted the open meta, so uh, half of me wanted to uh, DM mouse, but I guess I'll just throw it out there. Um, the next part, wherever you guys go to, kind of like entwine it, where Zine kind of tries to pickpocket one of you guys. And then, you know, kind of go from there. But uh, I don't really know what else to say. That's kind of that's kind of it at the moment. I would recommend not my character. Well, whoever Do you like fish. <laughs> I don't a know. Good who... Fish. Wait, what was the destination? Was the last part? Pocketing someone. 
Uh, if, if my character probably wouldn't realize it, then nothing comes of it. Or my character does realize yeah. it, my character tries to kill you. So uh, you, you can pick that game. Yeah, yeah that's well, I mean, the same with my character. My character wouldn't know. Uh, <laughs> tried to pick yeah, Pocket, I succeeded, and I keep moving. Well. So yeah, she probably has some trinkets from her uh, tribe, just things that she keeps as memorabilia. I guess just memory. If you want to uh, pick back a Quinn. So it'd be kind of decorated in ways that she, only she knows, like where they came from or their value. I, I kind of don't want to just like run in right here, like when you guys are done fishing and then where we go to your next spot, like kind of in passing, if that would be okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're, we're heading yeah, to yeah. town to go to the next spot, so I mean, this would probably be a good time, right? Yeah, I guess so. So I guess, so to clarify, the scene is that, what is it, Pine, um, Design, Pickpockets, Clem, grabs a cultural artifact, and then who notices? Like, how do you get introduced? Do we notice right away, or do we have to go find you? You can go for it. Uh, okay. Uh, would that be a sight of hand check from yeah. Zion? Yeah. So I start with that first? Yeah, sure. So the DC. You're legally blind. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good roll. So no, you win. That's why. Uh, that was Millie, by the way. Um, I'm pretty sure Clem's the one that knows where the church is, or has the flyer, and we're like following Clem. So like, literally, the entire party is looking at Clem as they get pickpocketed. Yeah, yeah, I guess it makes sense. I guess we're all like actively looking for stuff. So I guess we should make perceptions. Yeah, so no one sees you pickpocket them. And it's that much more impressive. Yeah, so maybe you pick up the, the map or the, the instructions, so we just kind of know where we're going, but you still took, like, we checked for, like, hey, what was the thing going on on the thing? Oh, I mean, we can just, let's say it was something, like, very, like, let's say you have, like, a pocket or something, you have, like, this little, like, strap with a little charm on it. Maybe, like, he pickpocketed the charm, and then as we, like, like, he kind of, like, bumped into you, and, like, he's like, oh, excuse me, like, oh, yeah, no problem, right? And then you keep walking, and then, like, oh, where are we going again? You're like, oh, let me look at the map. And you go to reach down, and you notice your little charm thing's missing. You're like, wait a second, where'd my charm go? You look back at him, and he, like, just starts running or something? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Wait, that... I think that man just lifted something from me. Looks like you. It was a family heirloom. This is. Hey, hey! Go get him. And she starts chasing him. Yeah. We're following. Oh, this seems fun. Uh, Millie throws the fish behind her and then starts running. <laughs> Fang, I mean, how Fang? Um, Bessie immediately grabs it and tries to catch it. It's fish. slippery. It slips up, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you I'm, manage to. Uh, I'm, I'm a lot of show. Rolling, I'm gonna roll in acrobatics. That's good enough to catch a fish. Yeah, it just it it's hits like a bar of soap. It just goes a lot. Yeah, even if it like hits the ground like fish, and I just like oh, just eat the whole thing, just chew it up. Okay. As you as you go to eat the fish, the fish stares, and then the fish thinks, "I seen what you've done." Talking about the eel, I see what mods you could get. Yeah. Just crisis, and it's like ah. Use it. No, 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 no. Too bad none of us is a druid or a ranger to hear that talk. <laughs> so my move speed is 35 plus key point. That's not. We level one, right? Oh, well. Yeah, level one. Yeah, yeah, I don't have key points yet. No. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's an awkward run up. You're both really in 30. No, we're both 35 because he's wood up too. Oh, yeah, yeah, wood up. Yeah. I think the uh, only other thing that might come into play is. Travels? No, travel speed wouldn't. Like chase come mechanic. Play with it was this. like chase rules yeah. or something like that. It was like chase rules. But yeah, 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 I mean, I assume you just chase him until eventually he turns around and starts talking to you. <laughs> I mean, it's. Can we like find you in an alley? 
Because yeah, I mean, if you run through town, you just keep running through town yelling thief while the guy in the cloak is running through town. And I assume a guard eventually tackles him or something, right? So I mean, it's probably not a good idea for him to do that. So it's probably just like, probably in his best interest to turn and start talking like, oh yeah, I, I, you dropped this, right? Kind of thing. That that's a family heirloom. Please give it give it back. So Zion kind of like looks back and then tries to dart through the people, but ends up going toward like the edge of one of the the piers. So he's kind of like blocked off, like either jump in the water or like face you guys. Sir, look, uh, no hard feelings. It's just I, I I need that specific thing, but I'll give you cash if you need it. It's. I just, I just need my heirloom back, please. So as you jump into the water, he's deciding. If like, it, it, oh, he's deciding. Yeah, I yell, oh, "We're fishing again! Yay!" <laughs> I go back to the water and start grasping at it for fish. Zion just looks at that one like puzzled, <laughs> like, "What? What is wrong with her?" <clears throat> Yes, um, she's just kind of slowly approaching with her hand out. Please, uh, we don't have to go any further about this. It's just very important to me. Zion will reach into uh, his pocket and then what was the family? What was the item we were saying it was? It's just a trinket from uh, her mother. Zion will pull out the trinket and then like hold his hand and he'll... Uh, Who's the person I'm talking to again? Clementine. Clem. It's Josh, yeah. Or Riku. Am I Josh in this? Oh, yeah, I'm Josh in this server, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I, I thought I could take this and be okay. Here, this is yours. Hand it back. Do you need money, sir? Thank you. Uh, usually people who do these things are in need of something. And I'm very hungry. I haven't eaten in a day. I can try to help prepare something for you. We're trying to fish at the moment. Yes, I would like that. Guys? That's a good uh, yeah. Might as well, yeah. He like, still has the fishing line and frozen into the water again. Yeah. But she, she clutches her trinket um, tightly and... Uh, and turns it back to you and just steps a few steps away. Yeah, um, we kind of just are taking it slow while the others are doing their best to get the fish out of the water. Is that Warren Slow over there trying to grab them with his hands or her hands? Yeah, it's her, I'm saying it's taken a little while. Um, by you, would you by chance know how to fish a little better than that? No, I do not. Well, I guess we're going to be sitting and talking for a while. Yeah, we have as, you throw, as you throw a line into the water, a fisherman just comes up and like has a pair of scissors and just cuts your line. <laughs> Is there any Bessie, like, this grabs... destruction of my property? Yeah, Bessie like, just grabs this guy and flings him into the water. I immediately reach for the string. And I, I look at him, oh, I look at Millie, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And I use, men I, I use mending to fix the line. <laughs> I'm gonna have to recast that. Actually, I have to move. I don't want to accidentally hook that guy. She stands up. She's like, oh yeah, thanks for the line. Uh, walks two feet to the left and puts it like straight in this guy's ear. Wait, what happened? Ooh, Ooh hooking the guy's ear while recasting. Yikes. Yeah, <laughs> Millie didn't... Millie was like, oh, I don't want to hit this guy. I I need to recast, so she like takes the line back in, moves two feet to the left, and puts the line back in, and then immediately hits the guy in the ear. It's like, sorry. So he said it's like not blood screaming, but he's like kind of like what the fuck screaming if it's happening. So someone just threw him in the water and just got hooked by ear. So now people are just looking at you and the fishermen are starting to unionize. Yeah, yeah Bessie's the Bessie's like these fishermen are super rude in this town. Just trying to fish here. I have a good thing going, you know. Billy catches fish. I eat fish. It's the same. It, it works out. You know, drawing lots of attention is usually no good. 
is that? It leads to bad stuff, I know. In the white top on fucking Karen is starting to get wet for her from her splashing. <laughs> hey, hey, creepy guy. Uh, hold this. I need to get the hook out of this guy's ear. Uh, uh, Millie hand signs the, the line and dives. Um, creepy guy. I think we should do introductions. <laughs> yes, my name is Zion. Okay, I'm um, I'm Clint. Bessie. Why can't I get any fish? You're too slow. That's that's Karen, and Millie's the one that's hooking people, or as the other may call her, a hooker. Does she provide the services? No, no, no. Karen's the the actual hooker. That that's. Oh my. <laughs> Sometimes it's kind of baseball like that. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Millie climbs out of the water, screaming, "I am a fisher of men!" Stop screaming. Like, gets the hook out of the guy's ears. Like, he'll be fine. Roll perception? I mean, sh sure. Am I about to get stabbed? No, you're just coming out of the water. Nothing happens to you. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, rolling perception, though. I got a seven. Probably actually change that to Millie. This is for the whole group, yeah. Oh, everyone? Perception checks? Okay. Whoever's on land. I'm on land. Nice. I mean, I'm really just gonna chill there on the dock, reaching for fish. I don't know what's going on. I'm oblivious to the world. I mean, you're staring directly at the water, looking at fish. You don't really see much. I'm gonna say 13 or higher. Pretty much, y'all notice. So Zine notices boxes around the people that are on land. Bessie notices people are putting boxes around them. Like crates. Yeah. And then, like, every now and again, like, every either minute or couple of 30 seconds, being, you hear, like, some shitty chirp at you guys. Being, um, being a minotaur and raiding human villages, this is like a barricade of sorts. Like, they're barricading to get, like. like a it's, it's a very cowardly. Fuck you, kind of barricade, right? It's like two or three crates, like okay. in, like in the, the square around you. So it's not like they're blocking you in to, for you to be able to, able to move. You can maybe tell that they're in a weird situation because they want to get rid of you guys yeah. because you keep fucking with their shit. But they've seen two people be thrown into the water and one have their ear ripped off. So they want you to be gone, so they don't. <laughs> Yeah, but you still kind of did it. Yes. So, th instead of, like, brute force, you know, because they're hardy, you know, like, fishermen, but you're bigger than them no matter what. So, th so they're used to, like, pushing people or, like, getting, forcefully getting everyone, like, out if they fuck with their spot or their fish or whatever. But they're in a weird spot right now, so they're, like, just fucking with you, kind of. I don't really do anything. We still have the dock and we're still fishing, so I really don't care. So, what brings you to this town, um, Zion? Uh, last town I was in, bad stuff happened, so I had to leave. Um, not to point the finger or accuse you or anything, but were you the cause of the bad thing? Yes. <laughs> um, do you mind explaining what you did? Let's just say it involved halfling and dwarf and did not end well. Oh. Those it's short people are very, very keen on keeping their items and town god no like me. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> what brings you ladies here to fish it today? Oh, like we fish, uh, yeah. <laughs> we were uh, following some paper that we seen the dock, and then Millie said she knows how to catch fish, and I like to eat fish, so he's catching me fish to eat. And oh, why yeah, did you bring the one that just reached with hand? Um, she's pretty helpless. You are caregiver. Uh, well, she says she can cast magic, so magic's always good. Uh, the the ones that are usually the the intelligence, the one oh. that have that. Not this is a you, odd. yeah. You you start seeing uh care get upset. <laughs> And you see a wand get pulled out, and at the water, she just casts the uh, chromatic orb. And it's a lightning element. It's just ten feet underwater, just zapping anything, zapping something that I thought was there. Okay, so as you do that, someone calls a guard, or like tries to call a guard. Like they 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 leave to go get guards. No, 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 no fishing with dynamite. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, can't do much. magic to fish? I don't know. I know it. No, no, that's what they're probably saying. But yeah, yeah, uh, Bessie's like... Oh, using magic. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to get fish, but... Can't catch any. So I thought this would help. Guess. I mean, maybe. Zapping fish. Is, is, is... Yeah, fishing with dynamite usually works like weight. Well... Okay, so if it was dynamite in an open ocean, it wouldn't work too well. In a barrel, it does, but with lightning, you'd probably be pretty good. Except for all the commotion, like, maybe you get a fish like this. So you might actually have a fish now. Because one fish come flowing up dead, electrocuted. Yeah, it's already cooked, too. <laughs> this carrot's just... Clapping her hands and jumping in the light. Yay, I got one! <laughs> okay. So, uh, are we done here then, or... Oh, wait, no, uh, Creepy Guy wanted that. Yeah, he wanted to fish. In Zelda. What was that, Bessie? He said he wanted to fish. Yeah, the creepy guy wanted the fish, yeah. No, I did not want to fish. I, I do not ever... fish. No. I, I thought you wanted... Uh... I do not eat fish. You, you said Seashore. you were hungry. Yes. More for me. Okay. Uh. Guess we'll leave then. Don't steal from people. Finger guns and walks away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're gonna do a job and you can. Pay for that, I guess. And I guess if you. Work for your money, you can do that. So y'all should be able to notice that a couple of the docks are empty now, and there's like docked boats and stuff, like rowboats and such, and uh, people were leaving. Wait, are the guards still coming? I mean, yeah, but pretty much like most of the people or like most of the docks are like closing down. So we're heading from the docks, trying to go back to the church now? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Um... I think there should be someone waiting for us. Let me just show them this paper. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, let's head out. Fish, 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 fish. I kicked the bottle. Uh, yeah, plastic bottle.
Let's go downstairs. What are you doing, Doug? So we head to the church. Indeed. Yep. Owen is AFK. Uh, heading to the church, and I'm assuming Zion is following. There's oh. money. Oh. You know, head to the church. My church is here. Okay. And the entrance is this way. Right here. Here. And here's the main section. Like in between these, um, what is is it called pillars? There should be chairs. I don't have chairs. Uh, yeah, Jeez. like a, this is a basic congregation area. But here, this is where not monks, but the people, staff of the church reside. The fountain. I don't know what this is. Dining area. Can we just walk in from the bottom part then? Staff. Yeah. Uh, oh, the bottom part? Okay. These farm things don't. It's like the back door, it seems like. This. There's a food area. There's an Xbox over here. <laughs> an Xbox. Is it like the is it a donation box, but it's got a Cairo on it, or? Yeah, it's a original. Oh uh, yeah. Original Xbox. What is it? Control Z to make a thing pop up. Uh, Shift Z. Oh, that's a map layer. Okay, well there, there's a lady there in the middle. Control Z to get it back if you want. I can I do that on the same thing? Yep. Oh, cool. Sick. Control C. Shift Shift Z. Shift Z. There. Done. Bam. That lady. She's just sitting there reading. Doing some steady stuff. Swatting a fly, maybe. I assume we're all approaching her. The person here. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. It, it, I, I would say afternoon, like five ish. She's the only like porch so, that like works here. Um, yeah. It, everything's like, uh, what is it? Office hours are over. Gotcha. Madam, um, we have notice of um, your request for help. Are you the one to get rid of the fly, or are you the other person? There's also, a there's here. a fly in here. We're not here to get rid of a fly. Oh, fly. I don't see a fly. Oh, fire. What? Like, yeah, uh, yeah, we have we have fly a, in we here. Have paper. We had this paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I so uh, the church has been having problems with a separate congregation. Mm -hmm. Um. So y'all like out of y'all should know that the gods they're not these quote unquote as further than I'm gonna say aren't the major gods. The major gods are the things in D and D. But in Kyloth, there is the belief that there is a subset of gods that represent um, the seven virtues and the seven sins. Yeah, the seven like sins. titans, I guess, or guidance. Sure. Kind of. They known and as so. The seven? Huh? Known as the seven. I guess. But there are seven. So there's two congregations, good and evil. There's two churches. She basically explains, you know, as you talk to her. Um, but the subsets, you can believe in the single, you know, like pride or chastity. You could believe in, like, one thing, but and I assume any the umbrella is the two teams. And I assume any of the gods are based off of, um, fall into a category, basically, right? Like, like Bahamut will probably be connected to rage or wrath, I guess? Yes. So, 
as you talk to her, she doesn't really seem. She, you can tell she is like I guess the head priest because she's here after hours doing shit, and she's in the main area. Like dabble some water over here, got some shit over here. She explains, but she seems kind of cool like, for the cool kids. She seems hit with the times. Okay. Aaron over there in the background. So this is a church. I've never been in one. You've never been in a church. I've seen one. I have never been in one either. I just ask, what do you do here? What's so special about this place? Uh, well, we sit here and believe what we believe, and I guess hopefully. Uh, our beliefs could be right, and we die, good things happen. Hey, so you just sit here all day? E yeah, what do you do? I don't do anything anymore. That's not true, you played in the water today. <gasps> that is right! My top is still wet. <laughs> Oh, like, yeah. Okay. I, I'm gonna have to clean that up too, because that's. This is tile. That's a hazard. And I don't want to slip, because that would oh, suck. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. I'm so sorry. You, you just, just see me clean, reach though. into a bag. You, no, you just see me reach into a bag and grab claws to get on my knees and then start scrubbing the water up. <laughs> Probably one of yeah. those things where it's like a wet t shirt type situation, and, and probably Bessie should be. Lectures, I guess, and try to like look, but then she, you, I guess, you know that she's not. Why? I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to make a mess. I didn't mean it's fine. It's not gonna happen again. Because we don't, we ran out of flora signs. She like swats out of flight like an invisible fly again. Do you have a pest problem? Apparently. Would you like to get rid of it? I don't think I have the uh, agility to do so, but I could try. Like, I don't even see a fly. What do you mean? So yeah, I don't know. It's, it's been a fly in here all day. I think someone left the fucking window open. Are there open windows? No. <laughs> Staying glass windows like they don't open what no. <laughs> so Bessie's is like so what are uh what what did the paper want us to do here? It just says help, the paper just says help. But she explains that um she has no proof of anything really. But Windows have been smashed, not in this room, but near the back, to where it's, um, where's my thing? Not really here, but usually in the front, or here, because people can run up, throw a rock, smash your window, run away. And she thinks that it could be, like, some rebellious kids or whatever, maybe some goblins, she doesn't know. Enemies of so, the state. Who, who, who knows? You're tell you want us to investigate why your windows have been broken? Yeah, I've also been stealing a lot of food in here lately. Mm. In the kitchen. Oh yeah. At least we still have the Xbox. Yeah, yeah. So she's like, she's like, yeah, yeah. We need to go investigate the kitchen with the the food. Where's that at? She's like, ah, I gotcha. She tells you this way down here, this way, go up kitchen. Yeah, she just wanders off. I'm gonna go investigate the kitchen. Best okay. Well. okay. Wait, are you sure there are rocks, or is it other things that could be breaking the glass? It's like, I, I, I honestly don't know. Like, there's, there's no rocks that we know that our windows have been smashed. It's not even, like, really thrown. It, it, it's like if they threw it, Something would go through, and the glass would be on the other side, but there's nothing on the ground. But there's nothing thrown, I don't know. So no, no rocks on the ground or anything to prove that it was shattered by something physical? 
I thought not that we sing here. Well, I guess we'll do some more investigations around the building. Bessie just walks on, like, I'm gonna go raid the kitchen. Yeah. He walks past them playing to go steal food from the kitchen. I think I'm the only one playing. Nope, Millie's skipping around this uh, larger area that you're in, like... Huh. It's pretty big. Lots of stone. Reminds me of home. Da 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 da. I'm waiting for the lady of the church to yell at me for being a child. <laughs> She's in her main dorm dorm room. Foyer? Is that a foyer? I don't know. Uh, foyer. So she's in the sanctuary, but Karen's in the foyer. I think. Whatever where the podium is. The podium area. Yeah, sanctuary. Yeah. Sure. It's like, yeah, so if there are kids, just I don't know. Spake them on the forehead and just like send them off to the to guards, I guess. Just jump out and start trailing water puddles everywhere. Millie catches you with prestidigitation. The oh. water shall not be wet. So she's like, uh, well, well uh, it's a bit of any of the day, and you like head home. Starts walking out, and if you're still in the kitchen. She walks by, she sees her in the kitchen, comes in, like, doesn't open the cabinet or whatever, and there's, like, steak or whatever, takes out the steak, tosses it to you, and, like, she, like, finger guns, she's like, yeah, I'm hit with the kids. She leaves. <laughs> That'll earn me cool points. She goes home. I may uh, be 40, uh, but I give random people steak. Where does this lead? Thanks for guessing, by the way. Hey, Glenn. Hey, um, you guys find anything yet? Uh, Wait. Aaron found a pool. Do you know what you're supposed to be looking for? Something about evil people. I <laughs> I left a while ago. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Um, we're looking for evidence of, uh, I guess, people breaking glasses or windows or some, something around the area. I, went, uh, I just got back, but I was grabbing ice for my foot. But uh, did I miss anything? Did anyone talk to me? You no, got no. a free steak. Yeah, uh, yeah. so she walks past at the kitchen because she's going home. It's the end of the day. Uh, she walks by. She walks past the door, takes a double take, sees you rummaging through the food. Gives you like some bread or a steak or an apple or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like in a hidden, like a hit, yeah. But it's like in a hidden spot. It's like a good steak or whatever. It's like she knows the good food or whatever. Takes that and then tosses it, to, tosses it to you, and then like does finger guns. He's like, yeah, have cool points, and then she leaves. I can hit with the uh, kids. I let it hit the ground because I'm not a cannibal. <laughs> or whatever. It, I guess it Human makes sense. <laughs> Zion runs over and picks it up. Zion, you might want to have that cooked. Did you want food? I'm making a sandwich out of something else other than beef. <laughs> um, How about honestly, the rest of you? This big piece of meat. Yes, uh, <laughs> I'm pescatarian. I don't eat that. Karen? What about you? That. Karen is exploring that stairs. <laughs> Billy, yeah, you actually want some beef? That has dirt on it. <laughs> it cook, it cook, it be clean. Yeah. 
Bessie has one of those like Scooby Doo size sandwiches. You know, it's like really big ones. Just when like I, I, every time in Scooby Doo, whenever they're like I'm, like exploring a mansion or something, I always like raid the refrigerator of these people's houses, and it's always like they make these giant sandwiches. Bessie is Scooby. Oh no, Shaggy, Scooby. Uh, she just likes to eat. She's a, she has lots oh, of stomachs. No, She's a cow person, right? That should have lots of stomachs. Honestly. The amount of that team has done their national terrorists. Yeah. But then after she makes a sandwich, she is actually going to investigate, kind of. She's going to wander around and see if like, she actually could find anything like footprints or like someone broke glass and jumped out a window or something and cut themselves, so blood or a blood You know, it's like things. So if you look at the glass, I'm pretty sure if you roll an investigation, um, I don't know how you would tell this, but through investigation, whatever you roll, you could tell that the glass has been broken from the bottom. Yeah, yeah. so I'm gonna I'm gonna do survival to look for footprints because that's she's better at footprints than like investigating from the inside or the outside. I did really bad at investigating. Yeah, I don't really see much. A good ass sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I walked out here to investigate, but then I started eating the sandwich, and I'm I'm just busy eating the sandwich. Who gave you the sandwich? <laughs> I made the sandwich. I I gave myself the sandwich. <laughs> uh, David, um, you you think you can see like claw marks? Not really. He, uh, anywhere inside any of the rooms, but near the pavement. It's getting in the stairs? I don't know. How are you? I don't know. I don't I'm know. in there searching. <laughs> Karen, what are, you, what are you doing? No, I saw stairs. I wanted to know where they led. It's... The windows are over here. Oh. What's We're supposed windows? to be the broken windows. Oh, okay. I'll help you look. I guess. I found it. I found the broken window. Quest complete. <laughs> yeah. I found the broken window. Rolled a one and a twenty. You didn't turn it in. No, we haven't turned in the quest yet. The quest good was not here, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> so, one what did you find? I don't know the window. Like it's broken at the bottom. Like, maybe they're short? Is that what I'm getting from the investigation? Like, they're short? Were they trying to crack the entire window by breaking it from the space? Mouse. Sounded like he was walking away a while ago. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure why someone would attack a church. This is, um... Kind of unruly. Do you know if this place always has issues like this? Does anyone know? I'm not from here. This is Sorry. the biggest church I've ever seen. It's not even made of wood. Some of... The spec you were saying, uh, some of the normal four-paned window, uh, windows don't, aren't broken. It's usually... So, these are the, the large stained glasses, and none of them are broken because this really is an area to walk in. So the only one here are, so it's the rooms here. What is this from a greenhouse? Uh sure. I don't it's a it's a room. <laughs> That's really bad. Mess. Um, sorry about that. I lost it's all hearing. We're gonna keep the broken glass because it's fucking god damn it. I lo I lost all hearing from everybody, so what's going on? No, we're trying to figure it out. So I'm asking questions though, but so so this area is it really an area to walk in? These are large panels. So around here are like medium, smallish stained glass panels. Those are broken at the bottom, okay. but you can tell that none of the normal windows are. What are the stained glass windows of? You can tell if you're in here. Um, they were like, they didn't show the, the virtues, these are the, um, they didn't show the virtues as, like, an anthropomorphic 
usually like icons and symbols of those titans. What was broken? What what were the windows at the bottom? Is I like minor things of the titans, like a rose here or like a, a north star for whatever sign it was. I don't have the signs or art with me. Okay, so they threw rocks at the bottom of these windows like they were short and they that's all they can get to or I don't know if it was rocks at all. But that's what she said. She thought she told you that she thinks people are just throwing rocks. But if you you can tell if you throw a rock it's pretty much at the middle, right? Yeah, so like someone broke these, like went up to them and like chipped them or something or, or, or broke them on purpose down here. Me? So like I assume the glass is on the other side, like and like if they pushed it out pretty much, right? Or like if it's not on the other side then they must have cut it out and stole it, then is it is there glass on the other side? Not now, because they cleaned it up. They cleaned it up, okay. What what was the things of? Just like little symbols you said? Yeah. Everything about the virtues or the church. Okay, so someone doesn't like the virtues of the church or something, I don't know. She told you this has happened on multiple occasions. So Bessie's is like, I don't, I don't right. think someone liked this church. So they broke their windows. Hmm. So, uh, is, is this part where we, like, I don't know, punch someone and say, don't break windows. Rawr. I guess, but we need uh, to find out who to punch. Should we stay the night? Yes, like, see if someone breaks them and then <gasps> chase them. We're gonna have a sleepover? Yeah, I guess. No, steak out. Um, no offense. Uh, the steak's over there. I don't um, trust the steak. It's got dirt on it. Try to be very intimidating, and I expand my wings, and I yell, Give me food now. <laughs> See, you know, it's like, is food? Hmm? What is it? Is Bessie the only one holding food? So I assume Bessie's going to think that's directed at her. Like, who, you, who, who is Karen like? Trying everybody, to I'm behind everybody, so I'm doing it at everybody. <laughs> yeah, Bessie like looks at Karen, looks at her food, looks at Karen, looks at her food. Bitch, try to take my food from me. <laughs> um, there's an entire kitchen behind you, Karen. Uh, help yourself. I don't know how to cook. Oh shit, you're a baby. Um, okay. Uh, I'll try to make something for you, I guess. Millie, would you like to help? Oh, sure, yeah. Um, this isn't where really I know it, is it? Don't really know what kind of spices you guys have here, but uh, yeah, let, let's try to make something. Uh, I don't see fish. Mushrooms? Um, there was fish, it's all on Bessie's sandwich. <laughs> Why is this mushroom white? Uh, okay, I I can do this. This, yeah. Uh, Millie like grabs some baby bells, starts like chopping them and stuff. Like, I found this. It it looks edible. Yeah. Um, we'll make make do with what we have. Um. So yeah, she'll try her best to prepare. A meal. Yeah, so like, uh, what sort of stuff do you scrounge up in there? Like, a lot of sandwich ingredients got cannibalized, but there's probably like a loaf of bread somewhere. Um, I mean, it may be something vegetarian if it's only like <laughs> the soft stuff left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bessie would take mostly the meat and bread. But she's used to making that because she's pescatarian. Yeah. So. so, do we like make Karen a, a sandwich with mushrooms on it or? Whatever's available. Like tomatoes, lettuce, mushrooms, maybe some avocado, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so, should I roll something for, I guess, preparing the, field, the meal? Yeah, you can. That? 
you don't have cook's utensils, but I assume the kitchen has cook's utensils, so I guess you're rolling the cook's utensils from the kitchen plus a stat. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And Millie's helping you. Uh, Performer, so uh, what's that? It'll be a stat. It'll be a, a skill. Is this dex? Is this wisdom? Is it, like. I, I think he's saying, Josh, that you just need to pick something and roll with it, and like yeah, whatever, whatever you're trying to do, right? You kind of describe how you're doing it, right? Yeah. Um, which is, I guess, speaking back into her, I guess, knowledge of how to handle something. He's like, I guess this will work. Eighteen. Yep. Fred. Fred, do that. Going crackly. Yeah. Wait, is is my thing going crackly? Yeah. Yep. So she makes a pretty decent sandwich. Oh, uh, yes, they make a pretty decent sandwich and hand it to uh, Karen. Um, yeah, you know. I'm hesitant because it doesn't look like so something that I would eat, but I'm hungry, so I'm gonna uh, eat trust it. Me, it's, it's probably not as I guess savory as you expect. Um, but it's what I mean it's too. Yeah, maybe more healthy, because uh, I'm not sure if you eat raw meat or not, but... Yeah. Better. But, I, 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 I was like, wait, there's meat on this? Unfortunately, no. Oh. Just give it a try, you may like it. I mean, okay, I'll try it. Sometimes when you're without, you have to make do. And sometimes when you make do, you find that you don't need. So you go back. Yeah, uh, I'll try the sandwich. <laughs> so you can either just choose to like it, choose to hate it, or roll a die if you want to, whatever. Yeah, how you want to? Yeah, I'm gonna do like a D two. Give me a second. I'm in the kitchen, turning on the deep fryer for summer. She's hungry. Oh, if you're a D twenty, you can get like a bigger range of how much you hate or like it. Oh, ooh, yeah, okay. and also, it's a pretty good meal. I mean, it was an 18. Yeah. I mean, she's just hungry at the moment. She's gonna eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's, she's been with you guys for a while now, and she no, doesn't have a home, so... <laughs> I mean, if you want, you can only eat a quarter, and I'll eat the rest if you don't want it. She goes back to the kitchen and cuts it into slices. It's all right. <laughs> Could use a little meat. If it was available, I would have treated you to it, but it's not. That's all we have. So do you want the rest? Okay. You could have half. I I'm not hungry at the moment. I, I can go with that. Here, take the rest. Okay. Zion like hears all this and he'll come over and take out like two pieces of the meat that he left over from the other like a uh, piece of steak and just like hold them out of his hand to uh, to Karen. Oh, good Some of my floor meat. <laughs> I, I I look at him and I just go, huh? Is this what? Are you giving me something out of f your own free will, or are you trying to get something even more from me? This good meat. Yeah, that's that, that that's what the one guy said too, and then I just walked away after he spent some money on me. He dropped his pants. <laughs> good meat. Uh, yeah, I guess we're plenty of juices. Plenty of juices if you're willing to work for it. <laughs> so sleepover? Uh yeah. has everyone done a sleepover before? Uh I slept in a broom closet. I have actually do that not. again? Right. Well I know what oh no. I saw beds. I wanna lay on one of those for once. We just slept in a cave in a big room, so. Bed was warm. 
I was in the cold broom closet, being poked by a lot of things. Yeah, so so Bessie's like this been like eating her sandwich looking out the window, like kinda watching for people mm -hmm. this whole time. This is about like eight ish. Yeah, so I think it's gonna just kind of make up some small talk. Just try to get to know everybody. Um, so are you all uh Used to traveling, or is this something that you just go into? Um, no, no offense, Karen. Huh? I'm sorry. Uh, I, I didn't mean to like make your case seem a little bit more awkward. Um, but I choose my words better. Um, how did no, you all get out of your home to start traveling? I I I, uh, I I don't remember what I did to her, my mistress, but I don't think she is uh, too happy of me. She's not talking about this mistress lady. Is that like? I was a child. <coughs> found me. Oh, so it's your mom. What kind of mother tells you to call her mistress? I mean, I am wearing a mage uniform. I don't think she's my mom. Wait, that's a uniform? I, th I thought you were just wearing a dress. Just my uniform. You kind of liked me in this. Your white top and dress. Bessie nods, like, yeah, it's super, super sexy. <laughs> I'd like to say some mine, like, you look, uh, you know, to kind of like do some, like, pick up, I look better on my floor, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> You're looking submissive and breedable. Yeah, that kind of thing. Whoa. Whoa. I don't know you like that. <laughs> Um, I'm saying it. What the fuck, you? <laughs> is he, uh, are you um, interested in caring? The director that. At you, Bessie. Oh, uh, Bessie's like, oh yeah, I'm I'm interested in all women. No, yep, oh. all women. Really now. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I've never really come across one of your kind. Yeah, 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 Minotaurs. They, they, um, they like, uh, females. All of you? Uh-huh. Hmm. That's interesting. So, uh, do, do you guys have issues with reproduction if the females like females as well? Oh, um, yeah, I'm the only female one. Wait, what? Yeah. Usually Minotaurs just go and, you know, raid villages and rape people, and then people they rape have human, or have Minotaurs. No oh, Minotaurs, that's it. Oh. You just so make you, like, the... half Minotaur? Well, all, all Minotaurs are half human, half, or half something, half Minotaur. It's a curse thing or something. So it... Does that make you quarter cow? Real mad. <laughs> like, I'm not a cow. Ooh, be careful with oh. the. I've traveled for a bit and, uh, yeah, people get offended by words. Um, and that can lead to fights, so. Yeah. I recommend being careful. Especially uh, with you point at her horn. Say, I'm a minotaur. Yeah, yeah, uh. O okay, uh, so sorry? What about you, Millie? I haven't seen many of your kind either. Oh, um... Yeah, I don't 
really know why that would be, I guess. Uh, there's plenty of them where I am. Uh, do you go underground much? Oh, no, no, no. I, that'll explain it. Do you guys come to the surface often? Uh... Throw wrenches. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a sewer oh. grate that I like, but, uh... Uh, but well, no, not really. I mean, there's there's traders that come by every now and again. That's pretty much all we get. We're, we're kind of out in the middle of nowhere, honestly. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I shouldn't be saying this much, because I I, this is technically my first time out. Uh, I've been kind of boarded up into my little... my tribe, not doing much else. Oh. Um. But how's it like in the sky, Karen? Wait, people live in the sky? Yeah, that's what Karen also, said. Uh, right right now, so, yeah. yeah, BRB, yeah. Gotcha. People live in the sky? Yeah, apparently. I've never been there either, but I don't have any wings. You ever see like, the large masses of land floating by? Mm -hmm. I, I thought those were clouds. Brown clouds? No. Okay, I'm back. Oh, why, no, can't you, um, why can't a cloud be brown? Because it'll be too heavy to be in the sky, usually. Clouds are usually why weighed down by the rain that they hold. So. Why does the color of a cloud equal its weight? It's going to define what's holding it. And if a brown cloud is too heavy, then how is it up there in the sky anyway? Those aren't clouds. They follow a different rule. So if I... What is it? Is it dirt? If I throw dirt, does it stay there? It's, she like it's, kicks up some know. dust and it does normal dust stuff. It's like <laughs> magic or something. Yeah, those, uh, those masses of black dirt are, are not normal. Yeah, I don't, I don't if know. there's something close enough, maybe it has a gravitational pull. The fuck's gravity? Oh. <laughs> It's what keeps us all steady and leveled. She's like, I don't know what that is either, but... I assume <laughs> this is more magic. No, that's actually the stuff that's... Uh, magic, yeah, okay. I start, uh, flying out towards the ceiling, because I see dust, and I start dusting. Oh. Uh... I guess we should get used to that, that's funny. <laughs> He's trained well? Yeah. Um, Karen, how high can you fly? Uh, I'm pretty slow at flying, but I can go as high as I can before I get getting exhausted. So, I think pretty far? Before I get too high where there's no oxygen. I don't know, I haven't really tested <laughs> Yeah. Hmm. I mean, we can test it out sometime, but, uh, I, I don't want to get hurt. Oh Are you trying to hurt me? I can't, like, purposely make you hurt yourself. But no need to test anything. I was just curious. Okay. And that leaves you, Zion. Um, anything about your history you want to share? Other than the, you know, halflings and short people? I still don't like those people. <laughs> Do you have a history with them? I'm sorry. Do you have a history with them? No, that was just in that one town. Okay. Does anybody have any racist issues that we should know about? Uh, not really. I what? really like squid. No, liking is not an issue, but... I don't want to go into a town with you guys and you just start, like, stabbing someone that's not a preferred race of yours. <gasps> I'm an idiot! Uh, yes, you are. I forgot I had fish! Uh, you... <laughs> yeah. You've been holding it the whole time and you forgot you had. <laughs> Who gave you those fish? <laughs> Bessie's like, eh, racist, no. 
fish. Yes. But this is mine. You have to be very, very persuasive to get me to give up fish or anything meat-wise. Because he's just like, yeah. So problem with people, but. You know, but, I kind of just do what I want to do. What kind of What? What kind of people do you have a problem with? I don't have any problem with anyone. Uh -huh. Just, you know, some people don't like to get eaten. Some people don't like to get eaten? Of, of course not. Uh huh? I'll try to eat them, but you have a problem with me. Are you doing it just because you're a minotaur, or are you doing it because you actually like it? No, like, I don't have a deal with it, you know? Like, I mean, I like eating humans. They're, like, really good and all, right? So, like, but it's so much of a hassle having to deal with a whole town of people when you try to eat them and stuff. I mean, I don't have my tribe with me to help me, like, kill them all and eat them. So, you know, fish is good. So, I mean, it's a lot easier. So, like, based off of, like, effort versus goodness, fish is, you know, better, right? That does make sense, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... I'm okay with fish, so as long as Millie keeps giving me fish, I don't really need to eat any humans. Oh, that's a good option. Unless someone has a fishy relative, we should be cool. Yeah. I guess if you're a fish person, then... I was thinking like, oh, that's a really big fish. Oh, I know a few of those. They're nice. Hmm. I guess you won't be... You won't like if I eat them, would you? Uh... Probably. I mean, I mean, do you would would you eat someone that I call out by name? Like, oh, hey, Dave, how's it going? Dave the fish person. Yes, I would eat Dave the fish person. She eats. Yeah, I'd have a problem there. Yeah. You shouldn't show me Dave then. Yeah, I'll, I'll hide my childhood friends away from you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should we avoid eating beef around you? I don't care. I just don't eat because I'm not a cannibal. Uh, okay, like, so that's what I'm confused by. You, you, so, you're not the C-word, but it's cannibalism? I don't eat... I don't eat... Or beef... things. Yeah. Hmm. I ate dragon meat one time. Cannibal! Just pointing at Karen. Like, you eat... you eat beef. I eat human. I put, I guess, or like, you eat whatever. It's like the same, kind of, to like a human, right? Oh. Wait, is it wrong that I ate dragon meat before? Oh. Okay. Cannibal! Like part dragon? Yeah, you were dragon? Yeah, she's part dragon, so like, if you're part dragon, then probably. And if it tasted good, then uh, I guess it doesn't really matter, right? And it was very tasty. Mm. Tastes better than a, a normal beef steak. That's uh. Should we change the subject? I don't know. Cannibalism's kind of entertaining. Zion, have you ever eaten an elf before? Zion like holds to his chin and looks up and thinks. No, I have never eaten another elf. And then he goes forward over to to Bessie. You say you are minotaur and human, but you eat human. What no, does no, that no, make no, 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 I'm not a human. But you said you raid the village and the humans, and then you do the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the people. Yeah, no, no, minotaurs aren't like human they just like they come from humans but they're like all minotaur right so you are part human kind of but not not really uh, like right we don't have any like human thoughts or anything like wanting to like get married and have kids you see her like just thinking about all these things she thinks about like you know like living your life going shopping and having fun with you know in the human village and stuff mm. like that Mm. Don't, we don't have any of those thoughts or anything like that. Karen automatically hears the word shopping. <gasps> Are you going to buy me stuff? No. 
Oh. You said shopping. Every time somebody goes shopping, I they buy me things. Like Minotaurs are all like big and tough and scary, and they just go and like raid and pillage and Minotaurs, right? They're just like bull people. The shape like a humanoid, but they're not humans. Are you trying to convince yourself or me? What? I'm just telling you what we are. Can Zion do an insight check on all this? Yeah, if you want to. Like, it's just kind of obvious by this point. <laughs> Got higher than a five. <laughs> Might be all you need. Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to use her, like, passive, because not like trying to deceive you she's just like saying these things out loud right uh what's my deception passive oh it's actually two so mine's 12 so yeah so so i guess i'll roll to give you a better chance but i mean it seems pretty obvious right hmm. well, actually you weren't there for the last never mind you weren't there for the last conversation maybe it's not obvious to you shit what? some of them uh, kind of i'm like it's it seems like she's posing but uh, perhaps we'll see with time. Posing what? Don't worry about it. it, it it's okay. We shall see. We shouldn't Zion. pressure anyone's opinions on anything. But we're just getting to know each other, so I guess this downtime is good for us. Wait, Bessie, do you have a swimsuit? Is that what you're posing in? <laughs> you wanna, you wanna me to pose for you in a swimsuit? Isn't that what you're supposed to do in swimsuits? I don't know. Do you have a swimsuit? You want to pose for me? Hey, you guys wear clothing while swimming? Usually no. I thought it was bad to get in water fully clothed. Yeah, it is. Especially with armor on. That's why you gotta clean yourself off after. But armor, yeah. You'll sink. Hey, how do you... So do you not know that spell that lets you, like, clean up stuff? I, I thought you were a maid. I was taught this one thing to fix items, because I've always broken them. I think she got tired of having to replace them. So I was taught this spell. I start mending. I break a dish and I mend it. <laughs> Are you always clumsy? Uh, yeah. Hmm. When we would be out in public, uh, he taught me spells that to defend myself if somebody was trying to hurt me. Well, that's good. She cares, but at the same time, I was let go. So I don't know what I did. You must be very upset at me. I mean, maybe you were just too ditzy for her. I mean, you seem like... I guess, I guess maybe you're like a dog to her. Like, she just trained you to do things. You did them, but then when you deviated from them, maybe you messed up. Uh-oh. Oh no. That good. I mean, maybe it was okay. She just got tired of dealing with you. Well, Master wasn't too happy that Mistress always stood up for me. I guess his doing, but I don't know. Then again, they did did have a failed baby the the last couple months. It came out dead. I really say that, sweetheart. I'm sorry. Those are called stillborns. Oh, uh, wait. There's a term for dead baby. Yes. Uh, 
That's, yeah, uh, there's there's a term for it. I need to learn. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't, okay, whatever. Yeah. So... Baby died, and he was mad, and then you got fired. I... I guess I really don't know what happened. One one day, it's having fun like normal, and then poof, no longer allowed to live there. I was chased out. Hmm. Too far from my situation. You didn't, uh, you didn't have any. You didn't do anything, right, to a baby? Oh no. I don't know. I've heard babies are pretty dirty. Are you sure you didn't like see something to clean? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, too far I, that's, to left and right. That was the quick. one thing I was never taught in the household. There was other people that wear this uniform there too, mostly women. They did the cooking and the help help bathing of the mistress and the master. I was just there to fix broken things. So you couldn't fix the baby, though? Does that work on babies? I don't know, you said you bro you fixed broken things. He's like, yeah, magic can make people stop being broken. <gasps> no, I think I remember where they buried the baby. Can we go back and try? <laughs> Fucking end up pulling a full metal alchemist. <laughs> I mean, far as only thing Bessie knows about magic is magic can do a lot of things, so I mean like yeah, I guess you can do magic to make the baby alive again. Well, you got a problem with this? It uh seems like a pretty foolproof plan to go find a baby grave, go make a baby. You don't have to be shaking your head. I always, I always did wonder how babies were made. I was never told. Um, as he's like, when a minotaur puts their penis in a human woman, hey. screaming pain. Wait. And eventually we break them back, tie them up, and eventually have a baby. Wait. They do what? Huh? Uh, tying someone is when you take rope and then restrict someone's movement. Yeah, yeah. If you don't, they're gonna run away. <gasps> like you saw rope on the dock, right? That's bad. Very bad. Don't do that. <laughs> How would you? Well, your parents sound like a bunch of idiots. Mm, never met them. Maybe yeah, I did. I oh, know. I, I, I can't say I know my parents either. Like I said, the mistress is the one that found me at a young age, so... Yeah, it's like, you know, just a tribe, just one big... group. It, it sounds like you, you, you've had bad people in your life. I mean, I don't know, seems okay to me. Sad you don't know who your own dad is, though. I don't know. Whoever my mom was after I was born, they put me in a little area with all the other mini minotaurs. And we just all were there. And then once we were old enough to, you know, remember things, I remember being in a big pile of other minotaurs. Probably one of my f most favorite words recently. The minotaur, yeah. I heard a mini tour is actually a real thing, though. <clears throat> yeah, it's a baby mini tour. Well, fair enough.
So, uh, are we like set up sleeping bags around the glass, or? Uh, I have a bed roll, but um, I don't think all of us need to sleep at the same time. Been it's, watching. Uh, I've been watching the uh, window. I can keep an eye out out of this one too. Can anybody see like like this? The can you see good at dark? Anybody? Yeah. <gasps> Me too. Can you? You can't. You have something useful then. Can you even see things while I'm asleep? But it has to be really close. It's not an issue. I don't require much sleep, so I can stay up for most of it. So if you all want to take your uh, your time sleeping, I'll stay up for an extra four hours. Yeah, yeah. So, so Bessie's like, yeah, yeah, we'll do the sleepover thing. You know, when do we do the, uh, you know, that, that stuff you do with sleepovers? Like hair stuff and, and nails and whatnot. Um, he's gonna clear his throat and kind of nod towards uh, Zion. <clears throat> I don't know if he wants his hair done. Yeah, no, I, I, do I, don't want, I don't want mine either. You know, I'm just saying that you guys. Oh, can I? Sleep. Can I paint your nails? <gasps> I like red. She like Zion become like a little uncomfortable with this, and he starts like walking out of the room. And Bess is like, well, you know, if I had a color, I guess it would be like pink or something because it matches my eyes. No, I don't like pink or anything, but. <laughs> okay, so we need red and we need pink nail polish. Uh... Hey, John, you can stay in and, and kind of be comfortable. You don't have to. Oh. Zion pops back in. I take watch IEB outside. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then he goes outside quick. I feel like he would do well with black nail polish. I feel like that would be his shade, you know? Is he not? Yeah, so, as soon as he left, uh, Karen would just take off her top. Okay, easy to air. Too tight. Okay. You're comfortable. Um, <laughs> well, it's just us women here. <clears throat> right, right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're still technically a stranger at the moment, right? Um, it's it's fine. Yeah, go ahead, get comfortable. She's like, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, boobs are awesome. And she like walks over and puts her hand around Karen and like grabs a boob. <laughs> yeah, I just smack your hand. No. <laughs> oh, what? Like you know, gotta get comfortable. Yeah, but I don't, go, I don't go that way. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I do. So you know. Yes. You know anything else you want to do to spin space time? <laughs>